Today, we literally start with nothing but Patrick Mahomes. Now, can we manage to build a Super Bowl winning roster in just one season? The concept is simple. We trade and flip, then trade and flip, trade and flip, flip and trade, trade and flip, trade Until and flip. Trade and flip. I believe we're ready to win that Lombardi. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more videos just like this one and make sure to stay connected with all the socials too. And a big shout out to Zumi7277, SlowMonkey671, and Rylab1632. Always appreciate the love. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Look, Matt, and I get it's Patrick Mahomes, but um, the dick riding is crazy. Um, as you can see, though, he is quite literally the only asset we have. We have zero players and zero draft picks. So down the line, once we get this dynasty, we build this juggernaut, an absolute super team. It's all going to stem from Kermit himself. I'm here. I'm here. And now, to be honest with you, my job here is quite simple. Right? I don't got to simulate or look through draft classes, all of that jazz. All I got to do is sit back, find the best deals possible and build out this entire roster until we win ourselves the Super Bowl. Let's start off by checking off some offers that we got Traverius Ward in some beautiful looking picks here from Chicago. Three of them projected at number one, Max Crosby in some amazing picks too. four first rounders, Justin Jefferson. He's a pretty good player. Just got paid some money to Tyreek Hill, Amon Ross St. Brown. That's quite literally all. It, it, nobody else is interested in Patrick Mahomes. Well, okay, then I'll do it myself. And now this first trade here might be the most important of this entire video because we got to maximize Mahomes to the most we can, right? We got to get as much value as possible. And I think getting another MVP caliber quarterback would be the wave. So we'll throw Lamar. Let's do Chris Jones and Mark Andrews. And then I'm going to ask for all three of their first round picks too. So Vegas, what are you saying? You know what they say? If you beat them, dumb. Join them and help them out, I guess, Mahomes. I don't know. Um, the trade is declined, though. It is quite close already. So maybe we take away a first and add, like, a second rounder from this season. We got to make sure we get all six slots here for Patrick Mahomes. We got to do a one for six and maximize. That didn't move at all. <laughs> um, What about a future second round pick? It is it even moving? What if we do Chris Jones and Mike Evans as well as a 2026 first? It's literally the same thing. <laughs> Third round pick this year, then? Okay, we put Mark Andrews back. Let's try out a future third round pick. Okay, I just wanted to see it be dark green at this point. Fourth round pick, it's dark green, thank you. Fifth round pick? Okay, I'm gonna exchange Mark Andrews for Mike Evans again, and this may be my last chance here. Yeah, it's not moving, is it? All right, you know what? Let's shop with other teams. Burrow. Put their Burrow in, Roquan Smith they have, and Andrew Thomas should have a bit of value, right? Now their first round pick is projected at number 10. I'll ask for all three of those as well. Let's see what New Orleans says. The trade is accepted. Okay, well, I guess there it is. Trade number one, Patrick Mahomes is going to the Saints for Burrow, Roquan Smith, Andrew Thomas in three first round picks. A nice little one for six trade. The one that started it all. As Burrow finds himself back in Louisiana, however, it's not going to be for long. Because I'm putting his ass on the trade block already. Diamondre Lenore, two first, a second. Devontae Adams, three first, two seconds. Whoa, Jamar Chase, his partner in crime here in Louisiana, right? Vita Vea, three first round picks. We're getting some, why are we getting more juicy deals here than we did for Mahomes? You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Three firsts in CD Lamb. 96 overall. Holy crap. And it's really just crazy that Burrow not only had Jamar Chase, but Justin Jefferson at LSU as well. Let me know in the comments down below who you got, that LSU team or last year's Colorado. You need to leave. What kind of garbage package is this? I'm not going to lie, I really like this deal. But I'm going to get rid of these bottom picks and maybe we try to add some players on Miami. Who they got? Kittle, Hufunga. I'll ask for Hufunga and let's do like... I guess we'll just try George Kittle out for now and just try to gauge the deal right. See what they're saying. It is like green. Not quite there. Yeah, I think Kittle might be just a little too much. We can do Greg Newsome, 86 overall corner, just 23 years of age. And it is so close. The thing is, though, we don't really have anything to just throw on, right? This would be a little overkill if you ask me. So I guess I'll add a current second instead of a 2026 first. Huh? See, if I had like a seventh rounder right now, that would be kind of perfect. But we don't really we don't, we don't really got anything like that. So I'll just add a 2025 20, second and the deal is completed. There goes Joe Burrow sending him to Miami for CeeDee Lamb, Hufunga, Greg Newsome, two first and a second round pick. Another one for six trade. That's what we like. Just two trades in and we have already flipped him homes in a CD Lamb, Roquan Smith, Telenoa Hufunga, Andrew Thomas and Greg freaking Newsome. But we're only just getting started. Let's see these trades. <laughs> 
please subscribe. Charvarius Ward in a first next year, a first and Trey Hendrickson, Demarcus Lawrence, a few picks, Jamar Chase, X Factor, a few picks on the side as well, you know, a little four for one there. Ain't too shabby at all. McLaurin, a first and second from Kansas City there, although it is projected late, sadly. Ooh, sending him back to Miami, except we get Roddy Stanley and a ton of picks. I think I kind of like Denver's deal the most with Jamar Chase here. Like we're getting fairly similar players here. Jamar Chase is three ratings lower, but it is an X factor as well as three picks. Let's see if we can add on just a little bit more. Maybe let's try to be greedy. I got to get maximum value. So let's just do Devondra Campbell and Julian Love. Why not throw them in too? And it's accepted. You see that? The CPU be trying to finesse you like that. They be trying to throw you under the bus. But we get Jamar Chase, Devondra Campbell, Julian Love now. And then three draft picks as well. Another one for six trade. And this is crazy. Look at this. We already have a page of players as well as a plethora of draft picks, including four first rounders. We'll just keep going down the line. I guess Roquan Smith, you're next up, buddy. Because ain't nobody safe around these streets. You know what I mean? We're like the Saturday market. Everybody is up for sale right now. Doesn't really sound that good. Ooh, Chris Jones here, two ratings higher, getting a nice little pick too, but the rating difference is kind of nice. Ooh, Mike Williams, but two seconds, two thirds, and a fourth round pick. I love all the assets. Ooh, Amon Ron picks, that's intriguing. Let's we'll see if we can cook up some with Vegas though. Hey, if you're still here and haven't subscribed to the channel, please scroll down, subscribe, because around 80% of the people that watch haven't subscribed yet, so help a brother out. Let's get that number under 80%, please, especially if you know you enjoy this type of content. There's plenty more of it to come, and um, yeah, that's all. Love you all, and um, subscribe. You don't gotta give me anything crazy. How about a Najee Harris, maybe a little Robert Hunt? And then we'll just throw in a third, fourth, and fifth for now, just to see what they're saying. And it is accepted. They were offering me just Chris Jones in a fifth. And we managed to get Najee Harris, Robert Hunt, a third and a fourth. Added onto that another one, four, six. This is actually a crazy trade that we absolutely finessed them. And yes, before you ask, the trade difficulty is on easy. Not very easy, but easy. Because yesterday I tried to do it on normal. I was three hours in and uh, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> like seriously, for two hours and 50 minutes of that recording session, I think I was silent. Just looking at trades. I was literally so stuck. The deals were so trash, bro. Maybe down the line we could do it if you guys enjoy this video. We'll try and uh, hammer it out on normal difficulty too. Oh, I don't hate Dexter Lawrence. Just two ratings less, but way younger and some picks. They also have Miles Garrett alongside Sexy Dexy. Tariq Woolen's out at corner. I see Will Anderson down here. What is this defense? Nothing crazy. Just give me Cam Curl, Nate Hobbs, and I'm adding a fourth round pick from this season as well. New York, what you're saying? Oh. I don't really want to add anything myself, so I'm going to get rid of the fourth round pick and we can do a six this year. That is absolutely fine. Those day three picks will come back to help us out later down the line. But there goes Chris Jones to New York. He's now going alongside Miles Garrett, though. What did I just do? But we're getting sexy Dexy Cam Carl, Nate Hobbs, three day three picks as well. Another one for six. You already know how we do around here. And sexy Dexy, as much as I love you, you got to go dance somewhere else. Dexter, that's a little too sexy. And I love it. Okay, I see the Steelers offered me Nick Chubb, and I like Nick Chubb. He's got a two rating boost on Dexter Lawrence as well. Let's see if we can just grab like a Shaq Thompson and maybe maybe we'll try um Chris Godwin as well. Let's start it off higher. I don't want to get finessed now. What happened to all the things? I think this fifth rounder was in it. We'll do a five, six, and a seven. Let's just see what Pittsburgh are saying. And it's freaking accepted. Okay, there we go. We got Chubb, Jack Thompson, Chris Godwin, and all those picks as well. And once again, it's rinse and repeat, one for six deals only. The Raiders quite literally have Leonard Fournette as their starter. But also, do I want to pair Nick Chubb with Lamar Jackson? Actually, wait, how about we try and get Lamar Jackson? Okay. Why do you have yellow interest for Nick Chubb? Your RB1 is quite literally... I'll add in a four or five and a six for next year, though. And let's just see what Vegas is saying. It is only orange. Also, why is this team actually just unreal? Braden Smith, Rashawn Slater as their franchise tackle, Tyler Smith at left guard too, blocking for Lamar. Do I really want to send them Nick Chubb too? They might break the league. Okay, maybe not then, because they're kind of scaring me. <laughs> Chicago's offering me Deontay Johnson as well as the projected number one pick this year. That should hold a ton of value, right? DeForest Buckner, get a first in Devontae Adams, Minka here, Vita Bear. We're getting like similar names here every time when we go to this trade block section. Aiden Hutchinson, 88 overall superstar dev, only 23, as well as a first round pick. Does not sound too bad, does it? Hollywood Brown. Hell yeah. The Saints really do not want Mike Williams. <laughs> Hold up, I've just swirled back around. Is this AJ Brown in four draft picks here? Say no more, but let's be a little more greedy. And let's ask for like a Travis Etienne as well. You know, why not just throw him inside? I'm giving you Nick Chubb. You don't really need him. Not there yet. We'll get rid of him then. Let's try an 85 overall safety here in Xavier McKinney. 
so close. Go down here around like the 80 overalls. I'll try to lean McNeil. He's still pretty young. 80 overall as well. Maybe can be a starter on our team. There's another six for one. Nick Chubb is going to LA, but we're getting AJ freaking Brown, who's the creme de la creme. I'm not really too sure how many trades we've done so far, but damn it, the team looks awesome already. And this all came from just having Patrick Mahomes, Najee Harris. Our receiver corpse is AJ Brown, Chris Godwin, and Jamar Chase. So far on the offensive line, we only have Robert Hunt and Andrew Thomas. Defensively, however, we got Lee McNeil, Devonder Campbell's on the defensive line, sure. Um, corners, we got Greg Newsome and Nate Hobbs. That's safety, we got Hufunga, Julian Love, Cam Curl. And our only safety, or our only linebacker so far is gonna be Shaq Thompson. I guess Devonder Campbell is too, though. I'm not really too sure why Madden thinks we have a 91 overall team when half the roster isn't even filled out, but uh, sure. As I was saying, though, we have a ton of draft capital now, and we have a pretty solid amount of great players on this team. But now let's try to um, use the, utilize all of these picks and really round off the roster as a whole. So, like, is AJ Brown one of the best receivers in the league? Of course he is, right? We would love to have him. However, I think it'd be more beneficial if we got three players out of him. Almost like a baby or something. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Imagine having yellow interest in AJ Brown. Oh, you're, you're such a tough guy. <laughs> I feel like Devontae Adams has been in a lot of trade packages we've seen. We should be able to get him because he's a few years older. Maybe Demarcus Lawrence to another older player. And then we'll just try out Christian Darisol for now to see what they're saying. Although AJ Brown is only yellow. Well, I guess we'll try CD Lamb. We could throw Minka in there too. And maybe Darius Slay, who's a perfect player for this challenge because he's 32 years old. He's still a great player for now, but shouldn't hold too much value to trade for, right? Only orange actually less than the other one how about somebody like amari cooper maybe buddha baker as well or sean gary i might even throw in some more picks we'll do just a two three and four right now to see what they're saying it's actually already green i kind of like this i'll throw in a six rounder instead of the fourth and it's kind of closer i don't think so <laughs> how about a 2026 20, seventh round pick i want to okay it's not moving at all hmm how about like an isaiah pacheco jonathan allen maybe a nick bosa we'll just try that out for now that shouldn't be enough yeah, only orange. Maybe we would take out Bosa, throw in Zach Martin. He is on the wrong side of 30 now. And it's actually mad close, you know, meaning we probably could get something done here. We just got to sprinkle on a little more picks to uh, entice the deal a little bit for them that didn't do anything. How about a third round pick as well then? Come on, Indy. Pick 71. Come on, I'm not asking for Caitlin Clark. Right, you know what though? We'll keep him in mind. <laughs> Commies, how about we try Batonio, Josh Allen, and Quinn and Williams? This is probably not even gonna be close because Josh Allen. But you know, down the line, I am gonna need to get myself a QB. So we'll see what we do for then. Terry McLaurin straight up, but two first rounders as well is very enticing. Amon Raw in a third round pick. They are quite literally the same rating. Let's see if I can ask for a little more. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy, right? How about like a Nick Bolton and Damian Lewis? Houston, what are we saying? Huh? However, I think we just throw in a seventh. What? Okay, then I'll throw in this second from next season in the trade. At this point, I'm about to just pull out the deal, damn it. Okay, we add in a six round pick and we get a little two for four action there. AJ Brown goes the other way, but we get him on St. Brown. I'm on Raw St. Brown, who's the same rating a few years younger as well. But we also get Nick Bowen, Damian Lewis and a third. I think I like this deal for us. And remember, we already have Jamar Chase. We already have Chris Godwin. I think having him on Raw St. Brown on top of that is just a little overkill, right? So let's use him to just fill out more of the team. Maybe we'll go back to Tampa with Buda Baker, Amari Cooper, and Rashawn Gary and see what they're saying. Wow, that is really close. I'm a fan. I really am. I'll throw in a six round pick. Let's start utilizing some of these picks now in these deals. That really wasn't anywhere close. I'll, I guess I'll jump up to a fourth, brother. Can you stop being so annoying and just accept that? Tampa, if you don't accept this one, I'm just going to block your number, all right? That's what I freaking thought. <laughs> Jamar Chase, still just 23 years old. Superstar X Factor, he should have some crazy value, right? Oof. Oh my god, my stomach hurts like a... Mm, what the f... Ah. I think I'm pregnant, bro. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Panay Sewell in a pig eye. I, I kind of like that. It's not every day a team just offers you um up in a little panay so you know what i'm saying you know what let's just grab like an adam thielen on the side pat frymouth is more than solid to be our tight end one 
it's close but a third round pick in 2026 that might be overkill look i gotta be stingy here you now know the wave let's do three day three picks in 2026 just to maximize the value get as many assets as possible a little two for six here with pittsburgh for penny Sewell, pat Fryman with adam thielen i like it again man I'm, this is this is kind of fun now know the wave though we get a piece and we flip them right away penny Sewell, you're on the block buddy what do you got for me charverius ward in the number one pick in 2025 projected once again though as you can see kind of the same names amon raw back superstar dev of rating higher than Panay Sewell I kind of like that Nick Chubb holy crap Saquon Barkley in a first from New York there Brandon Ayuk Chris Jones in a ton of picks well that seems the best deal by far oh actually I like this deal more Adoree Jackson in a first round pick Detroit shut up Kevin Byer two first in a second I think none of these trades oh desmond king three first rounders though but i find myself back at this chris jones trade from new york maybe just like a brandon cooks a jawan belly nothing crazy right i'm giving you panay sewell oh we can definitely get this done let's just add a fifth round pick that we got from literally last trade okay some of these teams just want to be annoying you know what i'm saying i'll add in a six this year and the trade should be accepted chris jones is coming back to our team now but we're getting more assets with brandon cooks Jawan belly and some really valuable picks in 2025 and on um, chris jones shed a tear if you're getting tired of getting thrown around like a kardashian in the nba because yeah you're back on the block buddy Derek brown and two second rounders i, I don't really hate that who what i like this deal with dallas for Derek brown let's get some players y'all know how we do around here let's do matt milano and maybe a javon hargrave why freaking not right add him on to it the trade's accepted baby a little five for one trade chris jones maybe our last time seeing you maybe not though who knows <laughs> as we are now up to 24 total players on our team adam thielen brandon cook some new additions amari cooper too i guess we do still need a right tackle and a center it looks like the qb i don't know what we're gonna do a qb but we'll do something don't even worry about it the defense kind of filled out what do i say kind of it is filled out we got every single position now as well as some depth julian love cam curl has some backup safeties Jawan bentley nick bowen as our backup linebackers we can definitely trade them and fill out some other positions oh my stomach hurts like a bee oh dj Moore and picks andrew thomas and nick bowen for asante samuel jr buffalo go kill your where was the pain Jameis? Yeah, just pain. It was pain everywhere. So we got to keep on pushing, pushing through and being resilient. All right, I literally had to stop recording yesterday because I gave birth. Where was I? I think we need to trade the safeties in Andrew Thomas. Andrew Thomas for Jalen Waddle and a first round pick and more picks on the side too. Hassan Reddick, Trayvon Diggs, Trent Brown, Aaron Joe. Trent Brown's not too bad. We get some more picks too. James Bradbury in a first Philly. Honestly, I really like this Waddle deal. But how about we throw in like a cheeky little Creed Humphrey on the side too? Oh, well, okay, then how about Kyle Hughes check? And maybe a Rasheed Rice. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! What about Luke Godecki here at right tackle to replace Andrew Thomas? It is close. Fourth round pick this year? Oh my god. Okay, let's throw in a 2026 third rounder that should be just enough. Tennessee is being very stingy here, a fourth round. A seventh rounder to get this one over the edge. Oh my. For the love of God. Wait, this is actually ridiculous. How closer could it be? Bro, 2026 sixth rounder, this is my final offer. Thank you, Tennessee. Ronnie Stanley, a second, third, and fifth for Buda Baker. I don't hate that at all. AJ Terrell, a second, third, and seventh. Okay. But I think I like this deal with Seattle a little bit more. Trayvon Diggs, a two, three, six, and seven. And how about we throw in like a cheeky Shaq Mason as well on the side? It is accepted. Welcome to the team, boys. Who funga straight up for Javon Holland and a second round pick. Wow, Matabike is second and a fourth. I think I like this Javon Holland one. But maybe I'll add in my boy Young Wei Ku. And we'll try a third round pick this year just to see, just, just to start it off with. And it's accepted right away. Tell you what, I like that deal. Javon Holland and Funga, they're not that far off each other. You know what I mean? But you're telling me I also get my personal gold? We actually have a disgusting amount of draft picks now. I need to get rid of some of these. <laughs> Holy crap. See, I love this type of deal for us because it's pretty much a straight swap between Trayvon Diggs and Legereus Sneed, who is one overall higher as well. Less development trade, a year older, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But we also get a second, fourth, and seventh. I don't mind. We'll throw in some add-on picks. A seventh in 2025 should just about... Okay. I swear, this meter is not my friend, is it? Are you kidding me? I'm jumping from a seventh to a fifth now. If you don't accept this indie, 
I swear. Okay, straight swap from Sneed and Diggs, and we get more assets on the side, too. I can't complain. As we now have a solid right tackle, I guess I could play Shaq Mason at right tackle. We still need a center, though. We'll put Waddle on the block. We also got a ton of linebackers. I'll throw Nick Bowen up there, too. And tell you what, with Cam Curl here, I wouldn't mind shopping around Javon Holland. These three are giving me some weird packages. We've got Zach Martin here in picks, a 98 overall, Quinn and Williams, DJ Moore, Ronnie Stanley, and Alvin Kamara, as well as a second and third. That wouldn't be too shabby, right? Levante David, Stephon Gilmore, and a second rounder. Christian Wilkins and Trent Brown. But let's see, maybe it's time we go in for a QB. And I gotta get this one correct. Who can take us to the promised land? Ooh, we can try out Brock Purdy. Just kidding. Call me crazy, but I kind of want Joey Franchise back. You know, he was once a part of our team. I'm just going to be a little, a little stingy though and add a little more. Even though it's a freaking quarterback, I just want to make sure. Okay, it's only orange. Get rid of the third. Orange. Fifth. Orange. Sixth and seventh. Yeah. But how about I throw in a 2026 first round pick? Oh yeah, we're getting somewhere now. A current second rounder? It's so close. So I think we can get this done genuinely. I'm going to add, let's do, let's do a third for now just to play it safe. See what they say. See how close it's going to be. And it is just about, it's enough to get it done. Joey franchise, Joey Burrow is back on our squad. He was once a part of our team. I think the second, the first ever trade we made, right? For Mahomes, we got our guy. And now with the franchise quarterback here, the job is simple, right? Let's build the best possible squad around him. Okay, the Broncos have Eric McCoy and David Andrews. It should be easy to trade for one of them. And they are quite literally asking for just a fourth rounder. Hey, I'm in. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he was on the Packers. Um, he is. Should we try to pair him back with Burrow? That would be pretty fun, right? Anything you want? Okay, understandably so. But what would you say if I threw in a little Adam Thielen? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I'll throw in Amari though. I don't mind. Okay, they do want Devondre Campbell though. So we'll add him on. It is orange. Third round pick this season, Green Bay. It's still orange, but not after I add in another third rounder. It's yellow. Okay, we'll throw it up with a second then. We're getting somewhere. Although not really. It's still not dark green. And we have so many second rounders next season in 2025. So we can add one of those in. We can throw another one of those in. And the trade is still not literally going to give up all my seconds here. But if we can get away with not even using a first round pick to get Justin Jefferson... I would say that's a W. I'm not gonna lie, Shaq Mason at right tackle was kind of bothering me. Could I get somebody else there, please? Tell you what, Morgan Moses would be perfect because he's a great overall, 84 overall, low dev trade, um, 32 years old, so he shouldn't be the most difficult to trade for, right? A second? You got me messed up, Chicago. Damian Lewis, a five and a seven this season for our new starting right tackle in John Conklin. And at this point now, we literally have every single position filled out, which is pretty cool to see. We do still need some depth, no doubt, and maybe some upgrades in other positions. We still need another edge because I'll probably move Derek Brown inside. Let's do that right now. And that defensive tackle, he is a 92 overall. You love to see that. Let's get a demon off the edge. Let's see, who wouldn't be the most difficult to trade for? Trey Hendrickson? Well, okay then. Demarcus Lawrence, he's 31. Maybe we just go all out then. Chris Godwin and Shaq Mason has it almost about halfway. Now we do still have a ton of picks, so we should be fine, but I got to make sure not to go too crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm definitely willing to give up a first round of our Max freaking Crosby, right? So we'll throw that in and it is now yellow. We can do a later third round pick this season as well. We still have a ton of seconds next season. We'll try a third first just to see what they say still green if we replace that one with a second next year however it's dark green and maybe if we throw in that third round pick next year now the trade J okay okay we'll do another second next season in absolute bag here is on its way to the cardinals but we're getting ourselves arguably the best pass rusher in the league in max crosby Okay, but after getting Burrow, Jetta, and Max Crosby, I feel like I'm going a little too crazy. I think we got to round off the team a little bit more and not go for that just top-end talent, you know? Okay, going to upgrade on Rashawn Gary here with Matthew Judon, four overall points higher. We just had to throw in some add-on picks, and we got him. Yeah, this defensive line is disgusting. Matt Milano for Cam Hayward in a fourth? DK Metcalf in some picks? Wow, Levante David as well as some picks. That's just a straight upgrade. I don't really know why I wouldn't do this deal. Could I snag like Kyron and an Isaiah Wynn off you guys as well, New England? Almost. All right, how about no Isaiah Wynn? And it's a win of a trade if you ask me. Greg Newsom here for Jonathan Jones, a 2, 4, and a 5. I like what you're putting down, Vegas. Can I add a Chuck Clark and like Leo Chanel just to be some rotational pieces for us? No. Maybe we'll try this out of future 567. All right, whatever. I'll just take the original deal happily. I was curious to see what Burrow could get me, and it's pretty much back to square one once again if we were to trade him. Darnell Mooney? Like, what the hell? Look at all these names we got here. Marlon Humphrey, Trey White, Stephon Diggs, George Kittle, Chris Jones. Darnell Mooney. Freaking polar bear in Arlington, Texas, dude. <laughs> 
Wait, didn't I trade Trevon Diggs for Legereus Steed and now I can get Trevon Diggs and picks? I think I might do that. Is that finessing the system a little bit? Maybe. I, I won't do that again, though, but had to. Okay, let's try Najee in a first. I'm going to try to upgrade at running back. And I want a straight killer here. Nothing less. And Austin Eckler is exactly that. Just kidding. Oh, remember we traded Chubb to the Chargers? So ETN's kind of just playing as a backup right now. It shouldn't be that hard to trade for him, right? How about how about we start off with a third round pick? Okay. <laughs> Derek Henry, 29 years old now. Would he be that difficult to trade for? How about we just try Najee straight up? Not bad. Yeah, look, now we can trade Diggs back to Indy for Snead and as well as more picks. That feels like kind of cheating the system, though. Ooh, Denzel Ward a third and seventh? Or do we do Shadobi Awuzie in two second rounders? Let's see, I'm definitely more intrigued in Denzel Ward, but let's see if we can ask for more. Let's try maybe a second and a fourth rounder from this year. I think this is the team I traded Jetta to, and it straight up accepted. That is an absolute steal, if you ask me. Hmm, you know what? I kind of like this deal. Derek Brown, I'm sending away as well as a seventh, but we get Trey Hendrickson. We get DeForest Buckner to be that replacement for Derek Brown and a big upgrade at right tackle in Brian O'Neill now. I feel like our overall roster is in quite a good spot now. We just can start making upgrades in certain positions. And all right, a big three for six trade here. I'm sending away Levante David, Adam Thielen, and Najee Harris, but we're getting Logan Wilson back, Puka Nakua to be our wide receiver too now, and now Isaiah Pacheco to be our RB1 as well as some more picks too. I think I like this deal a little bit more for us. Am I biased? Maybe. But that's not the point. In terms of our team right now, I think these top three guys are pretty much untouchable now where I gave up the absolute bag to bring them onto our team. Everybody else, though, is still fair game. Actually, I guess we don't need Judon anymore if I have Trey Hendrickson. Let me actually move him back to linebacker because he was a higher overall there. <laughs> Hmm, Wyatt Teller in a first rounder? Tell you what though, I actually don't really care about picks anymore. Is there any players I could use? Is there a world we get Dexter Lawrence back on our team? What if I ask for a one, two, three, and four? Why not just go all out just to test out the waters? It is close. It is mad close. Already dark green. I think we get rid of this third round pick. Maybe add in like a future fourth rounder in 2025. That just should about do it. Okay. So annoying, man. I swear. I'll just add in a 2024 fifth. And the trade is accepted. Why Teller is going to be our new left guard now. And we trade away two backups on our team. And then like the snap of a finger, we've upgraded at running back with Pacheco. We got a new wide receiver too in Puka. Brian O'Neal's now here. And now Why Teller at left guard. And I'd say we upgraded at edge as well with Trey Henderson now here alongside Max Crosby. Hey, it's the exciting whites. And don't get it twisted. We still have a ton, a ton of draft capital still. You know, let's just test it out. We'll do 10 and 17 this year and then a future first as well and let's just put it on the market let's see what we could get for those three first rounders Trevor Sword, no Derek Brown we could bring back Tay as well as another first CD Lamb oh my god Vita Vea first second and fourth Amon Ross St. Brown yeah we could uh crack out this squad to say the very least Nick Chubb would be a massive addition to this offense Chris Jones we could bring him back for like the ninth time TJ Watt oh I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I never really have TJ Watt any of these challenge videos, you know? AJ Brown, Patrick Sertan, Fred Werner to be the main man in the middle. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just scrolling through these trades and I, I, I want all of them. <laughs> Robert Hunt for Deion Dawkins in a six round pick straight up. Why wouldn't I do that? We can add in some depth somewhere else as well. Alohi Gilman and Sean Murphy bunting, I guess. Let's see what they say. Okay. I think we need to start adding depth as well. I'll do Calvin Austin and Dio out of Yingbo. Why freaking not? That's accepted. I think that's a pretty, that's a, that's a steal. Deion Dawkins straight up would have been good enough, but we get two other players too. There are no trades for this package. Nobody wants Charles Leno. <laughs> Can't say I blame them, but um, Cody Whitehair for a fifth rounder. I guess this is what the kids call league altering. Oh. Straight up. Okay, I did not think that'd be accepted. Denzel Ward's going to Denver. We get Darius Slay, a plus one upgrade on him, but we got a new center in Eric McCoy and some depth with Jalen Petrie. David Andrews and Cody White here for an 85 overall Shadobi Awuzie. I feel like that's a steal. Some massive upgrades with this one. Pat Frymuth, a first this year, and two forwards for David Njoku, our new tight end one. Edwin Jenkins, our new starting left guard, and EJ Speed to be just some def at linebacker. And just like that, I think our entire offensive line unit as a whole is probably an S tier. Tell you what though, maybe I trade Puka for somebody a little bit older, maybe a higher overall too, because he probably holds some value. Huh? That's the only deal they're giving me? Hello? But like Tay. Maybe like a Darius Williams. And like a DeMonte Casey. Buffalo? Alright then. <laughs>
I don't know what I expected, but... <laughs> oh, Nate Hobbs straight up for Darius Williams. Straight swap, four rating difference. Hey, I will, I'll take that any day of the week. Although our CB room now is so old. <laughs> All four of them. In terms of receivers, though, I still would like to upgrade on Brandon Cooks. Wait, what is this Lions team? They have Lane Johnson and Lermy Tunsil, arguably the best two tackles in their respective positions. And they also have Quentin Nelson at left guard. Who are they protecting? A rich as well. Oh, that team's nasty, low key. But what if I were to take DK from them? And like Brandon Graham, 35 years old. Like surely he's not holding too much value, right? I'll, I'll take Justin Pugh for uh for Brandon Cook straight up. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> we'll throw in like a third round pick from this year, orange. Well, all the way up to 49 in round two. Okay, we can definitely do this. A future third round pick. Okay. Detroit, can you just accept the freaking trade? One more six round pick, and there you go. Oh, whoa, that is way closer than I thought. Um, I feel like we got to get Travis then, right? I'll throw in a third round pick. But let's see what else I could get from them. This is the team with TJ Watt, Brandon Ayu, Kyle Hamilton, Kenny Moore. This is kind of a fun team. Stafford too under Helm. Um, is there a world I can get Kyle Hamilton? I would absolutely love that. I can try a 2025 first rounder. Is that a little overkill? It's actually not even close. Kyle Hamilton might be too hard. And would you look at that? A second in a future fourth gets the deal done for Travis Kelsey, a 99 overall tight end. Sam, Harder, Sam Hubbard and Cody Barton to be backups too. Massive upgrade. I was actually more than content with keeping Njoku, but that trade for Kelsey was way too close right off rip. And actually, I was going through tight ends simply just to look for backups for Njoku. And Will Disley for a fifth and a sixth. Hey, sign me up. I'm not gonna lie. Our team now is quite disgusting, to say the very least. We have every position filled out now and filled with absolute studs on all of them, too. We still have a plethora of draft picks, too, so I could definitely upgrade a few positions if we need it, but... Damn, if I sim the season right now, I'd be feeling pretty good. Huge blockbuster trade here. We're adding in Alec Ingold, one of the best players in the league. Antoine Winfield now arguably the best free safety in the league. And Demario Davis is coming back to our team too. Giving away Cam Curl, Shaq Thompson, a few valuable picks too, but I think some necessary upgrades needed. Shadobi Awuzie for Greg Newsom, a fifth and sixth. I mean, why would I not? Now, we only have three first rounders left. I'm curious to see what we can get. Jesse Bates would be awesome. 97, Devontae Adams, Tyron Smith at blindside. I'm on Raw, Vita Vea here. Hufunga we could bring back Nick Chubb to be RB1 Terry McLaurin Zach Martin as well as a ton of picks there too Quinnen Williams we could use another defensive tackle but why wouldn't I just take Chris Jones in the first you know what I'm saying Ronnie Stephon Diggs Smitty and pick number eight projected Saquon a first second and third Brandon Ayuk, Panay Sewell, Jair Alexander, Amari Cooper we could bring back, Garrett Wilson in two first projected top 10 there, Tristan Wirfs, Josh Allen some picks, Trent Williams 98 overall, Mike Williams is here every single time, Debo Samuel in a ton of picks, Sexy Dexy in a few picks as well, AJ Brown, Creed Humphrey, some crazy deals here man. And honestly I might try to bring in Quinn and Williams or Chris Jones again. Could I just do their first, third, and fourth maybe we'll try that out just a little bit more? Chris Jones, welcome back to the team, except this time, I think you're here to stay. Javon Hargrave and a ton of picks I don't really care about for our new starting strong safety in the main man, Brian Branch. And like, honestly, what do we even need anymore? I don't really know. Maybe a better CB3 or CB2 potentially than Darius Williams and maybe another linebacker. But honestly, after that... I'm probably good to go. Shadobi Awuzie is here once again. I feel like there's this little cycle with these cornerbacks, right? Jonathan Jones, Shadobi Awuzie, Trayvon Diggs, Legereus Sneed. Um, who else are we? We had somebody else too. I guess Darius Slay. There was something. There was one more person. Who is it? Oh, Greg Newsom, who we literally have right now. Let me try to find an absolute stud, though. Maybe Charvarius Ward. Okay, Jonathan Jones, a 2-3 and a 7 here for AJ Terrell. Levante David is coming back. We're getting Cordell Flaw and Daquan Jones just for some depth piece as well. Gave away some picks here, but I think the necessary upgrades were needed. As we're now up to 41 players on our team, I would like to get all 53 here, the entire roster. But honestly, in terms of upgrading the team, I think we may just be done. We do still have one first round pick here, pick 27. We could still got a third, a second next year. That's just about it, though. And with this first round pick, I can get a player like Chase Young, T. Higgins, Jake Matthews, Chris Godwin. So some definite awesome players here. Kendall Fuller as well, but I think we really want depth. Um, J.K. Scott and Tommy DeVito for a fifth and seventh. Sure. Wait, what? Jamal Williams, Austin Hooper, and Graham Barton for just Dio Odeyingbo? Hell freaking yeah. We're getting a top five receiver in the league and Chase Claypool, Sam Williams, and Keely Ringo for a third round pick. Michael Walker for a fifth. I don't really know what I'm cooking up anymore, but it's something <laughs> i'm just really sitting here looking at the trade block now um sure <laughs> who
Okay, we're now at 52 players on the squad, and we have just one first and one second remaining. Let's see, where on the team could we upgrade? Maybe running back, although Isaiah Pacheco is kind of a sim god. But you know what? Maybe we'll make him our RB2, and let's put Kyron with this package and see what we can get. Mylotta, Matt Milano, Mike Williams, of course, Joey Bosa. That's quite literally all, though. Um, okay, I forgot to add another player, but we gotta trade for Saquon Barkley now to be our RB1, but I'm a player short. Um, all right, I guess we're still not done here. Lamonte David's going into England for Matt Milano, DPJ, and I'm getting a second round pick back. Okay, I don't even care anymore. This is definitely the final trade now. I'm upgrading at blindside with Jordan Mailata. And ladies and gents, here is the entire roster built out through a million trades after just starting with Patrick Mahomes only at quarterback. We're going to have Joe Burrow behind him. A little Tommy DeVito action. Running back, we got Saquon Barkley. RB2, Isaiah Pacheco, Jamal Williams. If you piss like a puppy, stay on the porch. I let the big dogs eat. At wide receiver, we have Justin Jefferson, DK Metcalf, Puka Nakua. I mean, sheesh, even behind him, we got DPJ, Chase Claypool, Calvin Austin to be a return man. At tight end, hey, how about arguably the best one of all time? Travis Kelsey behind him, Will Disley, Austin Hooper. We got depth, we got strength in numbers. You already know our franchise tackles are Jordan Mailata and Brian O'Neill. Can't really get much better than that, right? At interior, we got White Teller and Owen Jenkins at guard. That is beautiful. Eric McCoy is the man at center. We even got backups, Justin Pugh, Mr. Straight Off the Couch, Graham Barton can literally play any of these positions wherever we need him. And let me not forget who may be our most impactful player this season. It's going to be our fullback, Alec Ingold himself. And yeah, on defense, this side is quite a joke as well. Um, our pass rushers are going to be Max Crosby and Trey Hendrickson. That is beautiful. Behind him, we got Sam Hubbard, Malcolm Coons, Brandon Graham for some vet, some experience onto the team. Sam Williams here too in the interior. Hey, how about Chris Jones? How about DeForest Buckner, Ali McNeil, Daquan Jones, even a little Henry Anderson behind him too. And if that defensive line can somehow not generate any pressures, hey, we got the DBs to clamp down as well. Darius Slay, AJ Torell as our number two, Greg Newsom as our number three, Darius Williams and 85 as our CB4, and some role players here with uh, Keely Ringo and Greedy Williams. You can't have straight up stars always, right? You need to find a balance in between, right? KD, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, uh, Messi, Neymar, Suarez, didn't really work out either, you know what I mean? Safety, Antoine Winfield, arguably the best free safety in the league Jalen Petrie behind him at strong safety Brian Branch one of the um one of the best rookies last season he can play a uh, multiple positions if we want him to Julian Love here too and linebacker room is not too shabby either with guys like Juwan Belling but the main ones are Matt Milano and of course Demario Davis we got Michael Walker Cody Barton EJ Speed we got death everywhere and don't you think we forgot about special teams either we got my goat Young Way Koo at kicker and then of course JK Scott the man himself at punter and in terms of our specialist section, I'm going to make Greg Newsome our slot corner because I definitely want him to play. Everything else here, though, looks good to me. I'm also not going to change any schemes or any playbooks either. We're going to ride straight out with San Francisco in and see how far this team can go. Probably only going to be simming one season here, but we'll go game by game with the goal to win it all. And let's get week one on its way. We're going to be away in Pittsburgh here against the Steelers, and we barely beat them by only one that is not too convincing is it as we literally have a 95 offense 96 defense for a 95 overall squad none of these games should be really close right we should be wiping the floor with every single opponent that's put in front of us here week two we got the los angeles rams and that right there is more like it 42 14 we got a ton of trade offers and i can't blame them because a lot of our role players a lot of our bench players would be starters on other teams you know that's just how deep that's just how good our team freaking is a 38 31 w in week three there against the giants now we have the own three cardinals we're at home and we lose 13 to 6 putting up six points is crazy like how did that even happen joe burrow don't make me don't make me trade you in the middle of the season buddy he had he had no touchdowns one interceptions somebody would even say he got outplayed by both freaking knicks that is actually a joke adam thielen destroyed us of course we had him for a little bit too remember 13 and 6 is actually crazy but you know what hopefully that wakes up up wakes us up a little bit puts a little fire under our ass we come back bounce back in week five there against the cowboys 33 16 i believe it was week six we lose to the browns 21 20 i'm not gonna lie our defense i expected to be a little bit more stingy a lot of these games are close but at the same time you could blame the offense to not put um for not putting up enough points you know what i mean this offense should easily easily be averaging like 35 to 40 points a game there's another win in week seven though back on track but like the fact we're tied with the rams in the nfc west right here is not a good look for us. Another W though in week eight against the Bengals, 35-20. We got the four and four Jaguars up next. The Rams have now taken the lead in the division. We are six and three right now. This is quite disappointing. Did I not do enough trades? I thought I cracked out this squad enough 
but maybe freaking not. 31-16 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Finally, a win after a two-game losing streak, but we're, we are just 7-4. and four. I was expecting bye weeks. I was expecting 17-0. I was expecting maybe one of the best teams of all time, but we're sitting here in week 12, week 13, with an eight and five record, bro. That is not great. We're currently not even leading the division. It's the Rams at 10 and four. Who was on that Rams roster, bro? We win in, um, in week 15 against the Cardinals. Week 16, it's another win against the Ravens this time around. The Rams look like they lost. We have them in week 18. That's low key our Super Bowl. I'm not gonna lie. We beat the Commanders there. And with this game in right here, week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams is our Super Bowl to win the division. Can we win? We can 45 7 and it looks like we have a bye week i'm not sure some things are tweaking i'm not gonna lie these menus are so slow right now i don't know what's going on we did get a bye week somehow even though we were only 12 and 5 hey i'll take it not gonna lie though i really was expecting more from this team maybe niners playbook isn't that crazy we were still number two in offensive yards defense though really disappointing at 13th that unit should have easily been a top five unit at the very least, right? Burrow was awesome, though. 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, just 10 interceptions. Definitely MVP type numbers. 74% completion rate, too. Saquon was incredible with 1,566 yards, 10 touchdowns, five a carry. Um, Jetta got a lot of carries because of this scheme and the deep will Samuel plays in the Niners playbook. As he was also, of course, the leading receiver with 82 receptions, 1,223 yards, 11 touchdowns for him, 12 for Puka there, 900 yards for him. DK Metcalf was their third option. He was kind of mid, to be honest with you. Kelsey really didn't do a thing. Maybe I should have just kept in Joku and saved some of those picks. Brian O'Neill, eight sacks given up, but really as a unit, we didn't give up much at all. As for defense, Demario Davis leads away for tackles mid with 131 111 for matt milano though tfl's monstrous numbers from our team 22 from chris jones 20 for max crosby 19 for trey henderson defoe and demario davis gets into the double digits as well max with two x's 15 and a half sacks leads away 13 and a half for chris jones seven for defoe there four and a half for trey henderson is crazy considering he was at rush right end or rush end alongside max crosby of course four and a half is just such a low amount Let's go ahead and get ourselves to the divisional there where um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really too confident. I think we lost to the Eagles in the regular season, don't care. Let's go ahead and hop in though and just see what this team can do is maybe see the problems firsthand, right? These menus are kill. They're literally an 84. We are um, we're a little bit better to say the least. Like, come on, man. Why did we lose that many games? But tell you what, playoff time, everybody's gonna take it up another level. The NFC also runs through uh, San Francisco here. So we do have, the um the advantage we should be the favorites coming into every game let's see if this team can um get our first playoff win together and uh get ourselves to the nfc conference championship it's a low scoring game here though only 13 7 still a one possession game fourth quarter on its way we do take a 10 point lead after a touchdown but i don't know who the eagles oh no we have the ball if we can just score any points here we're probably chilling right i don't know what's going on that was the longest possession ever we're up by 13 here we should be pretty good to advance to the next round and get a revenge on philly burrow what are you doing though man <laughs> 12 for 19 only 130 yards was it, was it just a big saquon game no not at all really i don't really know what we're doing look at these top two receivers marvin mims wandell robinson ahead of jetta kelsey puka all the all of my guys dk had one catch just a big defensive game or something oh yeah Two sacks for Defoe, Max Crosby. Chris Jones got a little involved too. Okay. Hey, if our offense can't get it done, I'm hoping our defense can pick us up. I think the Bucks beat us in the regular season as well. We got them here in the NFC Conference Championship. They have Amon Ross, St. Brown, Marshawn Lattimore, K9. We had Amon Ross for a little bit. They're an 82 though. We're a 96. Like I'm just saying on paper, when you compare position to position, we blow them out the park, right? And the scoreline is uh, telling that story, too. Actually, it's 21-7 now. They are um, answering to our touchdowns, but our offense might just be too high-powered for them to really keep track with us as we have 31, 38 points now. Heading into the fourth quarter, this one should be wrapped up. Our defense is not going to give up that many points, I hope. A little closer than I would have liked, but it's still a W at the end of the day. Any means necessary. We get ourselves to the Super Bowl. After a shaky regular season, the boys have turned it up for sure in the postseason. Did Joe Burrow get outplayed by Sam Howell? Maybe. But we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> and in the Super Bowl, we got the Las Vegas Raiders with Lamar Jackson himself. I'm pretty sure this team was nasty. But first off, can we get a Joe Burrow MVP? Nope. It goes to Patrick Mahomes, funnily enough. The man we traded away to quite literally get our entire team. Burrow ends up number three. Um... <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> 
maybe just maybe this Raiders roster has Lamar Jackson, Roquan Smith, 99 overalls, Mark Andrews. Oh my God, imagine these three on the same team. That would be disgusting. Mike Evans is also there. Rashawn Slater. We saw their own line, uh, Tyler Smith, Braden Smith. They have a nasty old line protecting Lamar to Shadobi Awuzie. We traded them Corlin Sutton. This is a solid freaking team, bro. Is it better than our team? It's close, but um, I, I think I got us. Hey, that's just me though. I may be a little biased. I built this roster from the ground up, right? They're an 85 or a 96. Can we end this video off with the Lombardi? Yeah, too bad they're cheating and are at home in Allegiant Stadium. That's not fair. Let's get things going though. Joe Burrow versus Lamar Jackson. They get the first points of the game. It's only a field goal. We get the first touchdown of the game. Second quarter on its way. We get the second touchdown of the game. The Raiders cannot find the back of the end zone until now. It's a one point game heading into the second half. They did not take the lead there. Somehow they do take the lead now. It is 21-14, which is under seven to go. First and 10 for Vegas there as they're driving down quite solidly. They are comfortably in field goal range now. We need to stop here. They take a two possession lead. Are you kidding me? Burrow, I need you more than ever right now. First and 10, big gain there. Big chunk to DK Metcalf, the man we traded for later on. Joe Burrow to Isaiah Pacheco now. We're driving, of course. But to be down two scores is kind of crazy. Two minute warning is now gone. Burrow, I need you to find the end zone as soon as possible. It's a nice game right away of nine. We don't got time like that though. Let's hurry it up. Let's hurry it up. Burrow, snap the freaking ball now. Thank you very much. Second and one. He checks it down again here to Saquon Barkley this time. We find ourselves on the two. Let's get it going. Tush push. Do something. Let's get it. Got one quick. We need to find the end zone on this very play though. Joe Burrow. Absolute dot in the corner of the end zone. It's going to be Travis Kelsey, I believe that is. There is no time for celebrations, buddy. Let's get things going. With under a minute and 20 to go, we do still have all three timeouts. We just need one stop. We go for an onside kick, did not recover it, but um, we're still in the game. And come on now, this defense is absolutely insane. If we can't get a stop here and get the ball back to our offense, I really don't know what to say. Well, isn't this the team with Leonard Fournette at running back? Oh my God, if he goes anywhere, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be disgusted with this defense. Get him out of bounds. Ooh. All right, here we go though. Minute and six to go, third and seven. Two timeouts have been used from our team. Now Lamar's actually out of the gun. They're gonna be passing the ball. Can we get a stop here? Great defensive play by 2-5. I'm not sure who that is, but now we save a timeout. The Raiders have to punt us the ball back, and we have a chance to drive down and potentially get this game to overtime, if not win at all. And here we go, Joe Burrow. Not only is your legacy on the line, but mine kind of is too. I built out this squad thinking it was going to be an absolute steamroll to the Super Bowl, to the Lombardi Trophy itself. And uh, it, we're cutting it close here, but that's a good first play. And DK gets out of bounds as we find ourselves on the 33 already. That timeout is still in our pocket, ready to be uh, used at any moment. Joe Burrow checks it down to Kittle, or not to Kittle there, to um, Travis Kelsey. The Niners jersey got, got me tweaking a little bit. Second and two, a little six second runoff there. Still saving our timeout. Joe Burrow kind of checks it down again here. We need chunks, not none of these check downs. And there goes our timeout. I feel like that is such a waste. I know we probably had to use it there, but like we really just didn't have to throw it in the middle of the field. You know what I mean? Joe Burrow, that that's more like it. That's more like it. That was a dime as he hits Puka in stride to get out of bounds as well. Stopping the clock as we're now on the 36 here. We might need to just start sending it in the end zone. Burrow, what is that? DK low key kind of had room there. It looked like a screen and Burrow may have just felt the pressure and just kind of heaved it up there. But I swear DK low key got over the top there. If he just at least gave him a chance in the end zone, who knows what could have happened there. Burrow scrambling out left here. He's wide open. You could have went a little bit more than that, Kelsey. Okay, though, we find ourselves on the 16. Only seven seconds remaining. We might have two chances to find the back of the end zone here. He could have went in a little closer. I'm not going to lie. He had a blocker in front of him. There was nobody even near him. Joe Burrow does the. Why did we do that again? What are we doing? His play calling is ridiculous. We literally just wasted a down in four seconds off the clock for no reason. And those four seconds are kind of everything right now. Burrow, last second play, doesn't even get it off. Gets sacked by Brian Brzee. And just like that, this video ends as a failure we don't even win the super bowl after all those trades making the best team i thought we could have made but i guess we should have kept going we should have made even more trades we should have upgraded on more positions because this one was not enough we 
did not get the job done. That's crazy. I can't believe we didn't even have a. I can't believe we didn't even give somebody a chance there in those final seven seconds. Uh, that that kind of makes me mad. Crazy, crazy, disappointing way to end the season to not end off with the Lombardi there. Burrow had a good day, I guess, but I mean, in the big moment in the final minutes, he really chuckled. They literally have Latavius Murray as their RB one man. What am I doing wrong here? DK, Kelsey, Puka, we're all good. I mean, I, I, I wish one of them got a, I wish we just heaved it up to Justin Jefferson. If there's any man to make a play with the ball in the air, whether he's doubled or triple teamed, it's freaking him. Instead, Burrow just throws one away in the back of the end zone and then takes a sack just to run out the clock. Man, I, I'm not gonna lie, that puts a tear in my eye, bro. But you know what? You can't win them all, right? No matter how good of a team you build or how many great players you have on your team, when it's not your day, it's not your day. I think that's going to be wraps for this video, though. I kind of like this challenge being just one season, right? I think the meat of the video is really the trades we do, the players we get, the roster we build all in total. And if that's not enough, then uh, you should have did more, right? So we failed this time around. Maybe I should have gotten better players in certain positions, maybe a better edge, a better linebacker than Matt Milano. Who knows? Maybe even a better safety than Brian Branch. There's many other things we could have done. I thought we did a pretty good job. I thought we had some awesome trades we made. I honestly had a really good time recording this video. Sadly, it just didn't end how we wanted it to that's gonna be it for me though if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment down below if you would like to see me attempt this challenge again and hopefully succeed next time right of course leave a like if you um are still here because you a real one for real and uh comment down below any suggestion any ideas you have or any of your favorite moments comment down whatever i'll respond to you i read every single comment got much love for all of you and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you enjoy franchise content like this challenges wheels rebuilds we got it all on this channel so that'd be greatly appreciated for you to join the wagon here because we're on the come up no doubt about it but uh yeah that's gonna be the end of me sadly we couldn't win it all maybe i should have started tommy devito in the freaking super bowl who really knows what i could have done different but um can't win them all at the end of the day see you